Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's Paul Yester here, and today I'm just going to put together, uh, honestly it's just a silly video, just silly, pure silliness. So if there's a couple things going on right now, for me anyway, it's number one, Dead by Daylight. I just, I can't get enough of the game, I don't know why I'm so enamored with it. I'm not really a big fan of horror genre, but I think the prey versus predator aspect of this game has really connected with me and i just i just can't get enough of it i just love it and i'm happy that it's around happy it's in my life sometimes i go to bed and i dream about dead by daylight as crazy as that sounds anyway i'm happy that uh, 1.5 is out and that the new chapter is going to be around the corner and uh, the other thing that's going on right now is face app I don't know about you, but I am being bombarded with all my social media. All my friends want to show me what they look like as an old person, a young person, a person of the opposite gender, um, etc. With the face app. Face app is everywhere in my face. I'm seeing everybody's collages. So one day just clicked with me since I have this passion for Dead by Daylight that I would just say, hmm, wonder if you could put the... Dead by Daylight characters into the face app and uh, see what they look like. So I did. <laughs> and here's the result. So first off, we're going to start out with everybody's favorite track star, Meg Thomas. There's Meg. Hello, Meg. Meg is the runner. All right. And Meg, you know, see, the, the thing about all of the survivors is they all have this stern look on their face. They are, rightfully so, they're in fear for their lives, right? So they just, they can't relax. They always have all these furrows in their head and everything and, the, and these looks of concern. And I thought, wow, what a perfect way to use this face app that we could see what maybe these characters would look like in a more relaxed environment. So, uh, yeah, here's Meg when she's happy, when she's smiling. You know, after a good run, a nice workout, get home and drink an energy drink, watch some television, surf some YouTube, you know. She's a happy, happy lady, you know. So there, see, that's Meg when she's happy. Isn't that better? Meg looks so happy. I want to see happy Meg. I want all the survivors to be happy. I want them all to survive and live and go on to live happy lives, but they're stuck with this entity. And being stuck with the entity for so long, you know, if it's going to be an eternity of dying and escaping over and over again, well, that's going to wear on you, right? And it's going to add some years. So this is what, if Meg never truly escapes from the Entity and from Dead by Daylight and just has to do this over and over again, um, time time is everyone's enemy. Time is undefeated. Time is undefeated. Everyone ages. So this is what Meg's going to look like. we we'll add some years onto her. There's old Meg. Ugh. She's a little haggard. A little haggard. It's wearing on her. You know, all the years, all of this beating her up it's taking its toll poor meg wouldn't we rather have happy meg happy meg yeah that's nice okay so enough of meg so moving on after meg we got dwight fairfield dwight's everybody's favorite scrawny geek here dwight there's dwight hey dwight how's it going Dwight, see, he's got this shock look on his face. He's like, oh, my God, we're all going to die in here, and I don't know what to do. So, again, we're going to give Dwight a little bit of a smile. Hey, Dwight. There. See, there's happy Dwight. Yeah, we made it. We made it, everybody. We're going to live. This is awesome. And one day I'm going to touch a girl. This is going to be great. Buddy, so, again, if Dwight never escapes and faces this for all of eternity, this is what Dwight is going to look like with the years piled on. There's old Dwight. He doesn't look too bad, you know, he's a little a little gray in the hair there. Wrinkles have uh, increased a bit. He kind of looks like he straightened out his life and he became um, a teacher. He looks like he's probably your average math or English teacher in a school. That's what I think, anyway. And there we go, there's Smiley Dwight. Smiley Dwight and old Dwight. Okay, enough of Dwight. So we're going to move on to uh, Claudette. Our resident scientist. There's Claudette. Hello, Claudette. She has gorgeous skin. Let's just be honest. Claudette. Beautiful girl. 
And so, let's see, Claudette, she, she doesn't look too concerned. She's just very analytical. She doesn't have, like, a real frightened face here. She's just observant. You know, that's what scientists do. They observe, report, take data, perform uh, hypotheses, make, uh, make theories and stuff, right? So, let's see, when, when Claudette's solved a science problem, let's say, she's done some awesome chemistry, and then she's happy. There's smiley Claudette. Yeah. That's nice. That looks nice. I like I like to see all the survivors smiling. You know, all these uh, harsh looks on their faces. just want to see them in a more relaxed environment. That's nice, right? Hey, Claude. Okay. And so then if Claudette is in the game here, trapped by the entity for years, the years wear on her, let's see what Claudette looks like at an older age. Not too different. She looks, I mean, yeah, she doesn't look that different. They they thinned her face out a little bit and added some gray. But she doesn't really have any wrinkles, you know? Like, I watch, my son likes to watch uh, Let's Make a Deal with Wayne Brady. And Wayne Brady always says, black don't crack. And then that's kind of an example of it right there. She, has, she still has beautiful skin. She's a MILF. Claudette's a MILF, let's be honest. Looking good, Claudette. Looking good. Yeah, she likes that. See, she's, I told her she looks good. She got brought a smile to her face. All right, so who is next on the list? I guess that would be Jake, everybody's favorite outdoorsman, CEO, rich kid, who abandoned all that and went off to live in the woods. Uh, Jake Park. There's Jake, rugged Jake, rugged, good-looking Jake. He's serious, serious but not afraid. I think uh, Dwight with his shocked face and Claudette with her furrowed brow, they look the most afraid. Jake just kind of looks like, I got this. I could sabo stuff. I'm going to be fine. And when Jake escapes there, see, we got happy Jake. Add a little smile to him. Jake. Looking good, Jake. But I don't know, Jake. I mean, you ladies, you better marry Jake. You better marry Jake for his money. You better hope his dad, he makes up with his dad, that CEO, and gets that rich kid. Because don't marry him for his looks, because I'm going to tell you, Jake takes it pretty hard with father time here. I'll show you what happens to Jake after a few years running around with the entity. Saboing too many hooks. Yeah, he's uh, he's looking pretty haggard there. That's, uh, that's a rough one there, Jake. Getting a little jowly, but I guess we aren't we all. Happy Jake. Whoa. Jake is hitting hard. Years are wearing on Jake. All right. After that, who do we got? Who's up next? I guess that's going to bring up uh, Nia, right? Nia was the next character introduced to the game. The the hoodlum, the Swedish hoodlum, Nia. Uh-oh. There we go. There's Nia's name. Nia always, she almost has a scowl on her face. She just looks like, man, I'm a street hood. I'm tough. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. She always looks like she sucked on a lemon. Not a lot of smiling going on in Nia's life because she's street. She lives on the streets. She's got that hard edge to her. And the best of times, she's probably not smiling. But, you know, if uh, Nia did a tag that she was really proud of and all her friends liked it, tags from graffiti on the wall, and everybody's like, yeah, that's cool, man, and bring a smile to Nia's face. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that much better? Doesn't that look much better, Nia, smiling and happy, living large, skating and graffitiing? And wouldn't we rather see that face on Nia? But again, Nia, you know, if you do too much frowning, the, the, these uh, frown lines, they creep in and they become permanent. So I'm just telling you, Nia, I'm giving you the heads up right now that you need to do more of the smiling face that we see here and less of this frowny face because... It isn't going to end up good. So, you know, they always say it takes fewer fewer muscles to make a smile than a frown. And uh, if you keep on frowning, it's going to become your perma-smile, and this is what's going to happen to you. Oh, yeah, that's not good. That's not good, Nia. We need more smiling, Nia. Like, see, look at those harsh frown lines. They're just deepening. you got to turn that frown upside down, girl. I'm just giving you the heads up. Yeah, see, that looks so much nicer, Nia. Don't be so frowny. 
All right. And then that brings us to Lori Strode. Lori Strode. Hey, Lori. Looking good. Lori just kind of has like a, a mysterious look on her face in general. So, Lori, there's Lori's natural face. She doesn't look too concerned. I mean, she seems pretty relaxed. She doesn't look too freaked out. And then, But when Lori smiles, oh my God, she turns into like this crazy person. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lori, but you just look crazy. You look like Michael Myers has just pushed you off over the edge into the insane asylum. And if you aren't in the insane asylum, you're living somewhere with 17 cats. You just turned into a cat person. You just have a crazy, crazy look on your face. Lori, I don't know what's going on with that. You just look. You frighten me. Your your smile frightens me. I like your passive face better, if I'm being honest. And then Lori, let's see, Lori Old. Lori Old looks like this. Not too bad. I mean, a little bit of a droopy face. But in general, she she doesn't look that different from her natural face. And you know what the secret is, I'll bet? I bet it's all the Activia. Yeah, the Activia keeps you young. It's true. It's got all those probiotics in it. It does a world of good for your body. Probiotics, Activia, not a not a sponsor, not a paid sponsor. I'm just saying, you know, eating healthy. You can never start eating healthy too early. That's that's all I'm saying. Activia does the trick. It's doing uh, Lori's body good. Okay, so after Lori, then we go to everyone's favorite Italian charming gentleman, Ace Visconti, the Argentinian, the Italian Argentinian. Italian heritage, living in Argentina. The gambling man, Ace Visconti, he always looks, you know, even in the most stressful situation, he still has a smile. He's the gambling man. He's charming. He's like, I got this. Hey, I got this. Everything's going to be okay. We're going to make it. You know, he's got, uh, he's got confidence. He's got that charming swag. You know, he's a smooth, smooth customer, right? Gambling man. All right, so uh, if Ace ever breaks out into a full smile, we discover why he's only been giving us half a smile all this time. See, he, he what what's happened is, see, he's embarrassed that he has this chipped tooth on the right side of his mouth, so he's only been half smiling to cover that up. He's learned over the years just how to do this half smile, so nobody can see this chipped tooth that he is apparently quite embarrassed of. So that's why he's only... Been half smiling all the time. Mystery solved. And then if we look at Ace Old, he doesn't look that different, really. I mean, he we have a little bit of deepening in the, the T-zone here of the wrinkles, but he doesn't really look that different. I mean, a little bit more gray in the beard, and I guess that just demonstrates to you that, uh, you know, being a happy person, it keeps you young. It's true. You just... It's so much easier to be happy and choose happiness, be kind to people. It costs you nothing to be kind to somebody else. So just do that. And Ace is just a demonstration here that that's going to keep you young. Activia and kindness. It's, if, if you take nothing away from this video, take away kindness and Activia, and you're going to be in good shape. It's true. Okay, so Bill, I couldn't get a reading on the... Uh, the app just said we can't detect a face, so apparently if you have a big beard, it's like you're a non-person. It's like, well, I don't know what I'm looking at. I can't detect a face, so I couldn't do anything with Bill. I just wouldn't do it. And the same thing with um, the majority of the killers. I tried to, you know, just inject some happiness into the killers' lives. See, they're not very happy people. I want to see what they look like with a smile, right? Couldn't detect their faces. It just, so I guess if you're... Um, a twisted and deformed person, don't even try and use this app because it's not going to work. It's And then that'll just upset you. It'll just say, can't detect a face, and you'll just go in the corner and cry. It's, it's a travesty, really. But there was one person who we could detect a face on. Wouldn't work for the Wraith. Wouldn't work for the Hag. I mean, I knew it wasn't going to work for the nurse. Hillbilly with, you know, the crooked face, and that was never happening. And the Trapper's basically a mask, so... It couldn't uh, pick up the face on the trapper. I had hopes that we could do something with the hillbilly or the wraith at least, but we couldn't. But there was one person who we could 
bring up as the killer, and of course that was Mr. Michael Myers, and there's Michael. We were able to do Michael here because he has features that were distinct enough for the app to detect a face. And so here's Michael, and you know, when Michael has a 4K, four kills in the game, and he's proud of himself, that might bring a smile to Michael's face, right? So here's what Michael looks like with a smile there. He's Michael's happy. He's like, I did it. Look, they're all dead. This is wonderful. The evil within has escaped me for a brief instant moment. And I'm happy that I killed everyone. <laughs> so that's his celebratory smile face. And uh, Michael, this is a little known fact. Michael was born in um, 1957. So he's turning 60 this year. Um, he killed his sister in 1963. And his first movie was, what, 1978. So that's going to be the 40th anniversary of that next year. And uh, so Michael's held up pretty good over the years for 60, I would say. Wouldn't you agree? He looks, uh, he looks pretty good for 60. But if we're uh, representing his actual age in 60, he should probably look more something like this. A little more jolly, a little more creases are deep a little deeper but it isn't that much different really it isn't that much different so he looks pretty good for 60 it's a good uh, representation anyway like i said this is just a ridiculous video <laughs> that i put together based on my love of dead by daylight and all everybody bombarding me with their uh with their own collages with the face app and it just triggered something in me and uh, decided to play around with it. Look how happy Meg looks. Doesn't she look beautiful? She's gorgeous. I love you, Meg. I love you, Meg. I wish I could let you live every single time. Anyway, I hope you had some fun with this video. I did. My son said when I was messing around with all of the pics and everything, he says, you're having too much fun with this app. I don't know. I just... I just uh, dawned on me to try it out and i did have fun with it hope you had some fun with it too so thanks for watching everybody i appreciate you spending the your time with me whoops <laughs> made myself disappear i thought of actually adding my own photo here but you know if i want to if i want to look at what i look like young i'll just dig an old photo out of a drawer from when i was a stud 25 years ago and uh, old, I did the old on me, you know, just, I, I'm already old. <laughs> so it just adds some gray hair to me, really. Oh, and the other thing is I didn't change anybody's gender. I, I messed around with the, the gender bender transformation thing. And um, it didn't really do much for the characters. I think Nia probably turned out the most that she looked like the other gender but everybody else it didn't really do anything a little bit on meg too um but they just looked really goofy i just don't think there's enough features there to uh like a regular photograph to do something with that so i skipped the gender bender part of um the face app not against not against anything about anybody what they choose to do with their own body but i just thought uh it doesn't really uh doesn't really do anything when I do the the app. So I mean, Michael Myers with his basically featureless face turning him into a woman. It, it didn't do anything. It didn't add long hair to any of the men, or it didn't do anything. Basically, just made uh, Dwight's glasses almost disappear. It was kind of dumb. So I skipped that part. Anyway, uh, like I said, I thank all of you for spending part of your day with me to watch foolishness like this, and I hope it brought a smile to your face and made you laugh. So. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be good to each other, and kindness costs you nothing, and Activia, remember that. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody, and bye-bye.